So let's compare the Pelican Storm with the standard Pelican. What's the difference? Let's take a look. We have the IM2750 and the Pelican 1620 as our two models. As you can see, they are practically the same in almost every dimension. You can grab colors in both of these. I typically have a bright color if I can get it, but just get the one that you have available to you. As far as which one I would buy, I'd go the IM series, but let's find out why. First is the weight. Usually in this example, it's two pounds lighter. You're gonna find it will be lighter to a degree. Your storm case has the resistance quite a lot before it snaps down. So it's great for staying in place. However, it makes some noise and a little bit of effort to open. Your standard Pelican has just ever so slightly resistance at the top, but it too will just flop down. The grip has some texture to it, and it has a curve, whereas your Storm series is straight, but it is still rubberized. For wheels, the standard Pelican is a little bit wider, but smaller diameter, and then the Storm series has more of a roller skate style. Going off-road, this would be superior, and for pavement, this has a little bit less noise and rolling resistance. Both replaceable. The cradles for the handles differ in the Storm versus Standard. Slightly more flush, but realistically not too big of a deal between the difference. What does differ is how they release. With the Storm, you have this little latch and that will release the Standard Pelican. You have a lever that you lift up on and that will flex, allowing you to access the handle. Both can be done one-handed. Taller people will like the Storm series. It's got a couple inches more on the reach and it's more sturdy. So if you have more gear, it's less likely to be flimsy. Not that the standard Pelican would differ, but there is some noticeable flex to it. Whereas your standard has very little give. So I'd say a win on the Storm series for durability of the handle. As far as width, you can see the difference. It's also wider to keep luggage from twisting on you than the standard. Support from the sides. The Storm is a little bit lighter and it's enclosed, so it does more with less material for strength. You can see it's pretty well supported throughout the ribbing. Also has a rod going the whole way through. The standard Pelican is more stout but open design and still has supports. However, the pins are only structured through part of the design, not the full length. As far as your handles and protection there goes, very, very comparable. As far as latch coverage, you can see extremely flush. However, the standard Pelican does stick out just a little bit more, and I think that's a negative in that they're more likely to come in contact with something. Not that they're going to break off because they're both shielded, but I would like to see a little more flush design. Friends don't let other friends wake each other up. So the storm winds and how quiet the latches are to open. You press and you lift. To close it, just push down. To be quiet, silent. The standard Pelican flaps around, but when you lift it up, super noisy. That's gonna wake someone up. So definite win to the Storm series. However, pressing this down and lifting up does take more effort than simply grabbing the corner, lifting up, or smashing it down. Do you use a hammer or do you use a screwdriver? Standard Pelican has reinforced padlocks with a larger opening, whereas the Storm has a smaller opening with no reinforcement. Now this reinforcement's minor, but it is something to note. So definite win on the Standard Pelican over the Storm. The Storm, you could always drill this out, nothing major. And the metal reinforcement, again, just helps a little bit for durability, but definitely a win on the Standard Pelican. It's a draw in that both have a pressure release system, which is what Pelicans are known for. Pressure differences, they can ventilate through the barrier that's contained within these little buttons. Both have minimal intrusion 
and the parts in the corners. So very comparable in that regard. However, Pelican has advantage up its sleeve with a standard model in that you have these attachment points to purchase other carriers to be screwed into the backing, whereas the Storm series is absent of that. So if that matters, if you want a separate thing to add later and you don't want to use adhesive, standard Pelican wins. This little ridge on the top of the barrier for the weather seal helps with just that last little bit of weather protection on the standard Pelican, whereas your regular Storm incorporates just a rounded edge. So this is smoother on your gear if you're rubbing there. However, it's less likely to get that 100% seal if you have sand or grit. Not a major player, but just something to keep in mind if your environments are going outside. Between the IM Storm and the standard Pelican, they fare very similar. Get the one that you can get the best deal on. If you can afford the Air version, I'd even save two more pounds on top of the IM. Otherwise, they both come in very similar colorways. Grab one that stands out. Go with the Storm if you're just between the two. I think you'll have a better feature set for most travel. Just for around town, I'd get the standard Pelican. It's more durable. Weight's not as critical. You got about two pounds heavier.